Hello everyone, this is Kiamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. So in this tutorial, we are going to do the email verification in Laravel. So here in this project, we already uh, did the normal authentication. I mean the normal login and normal registration. So if I go to my database user table, here you can see this are user table and here you can see email verified at all of them is null. And if you are able to successfully verify the email, then uh, this value will be on instead of null over here so we just already did the normal registration and login in laravel so right now we'll do the email verification part so here if i click on the login it will take us to this login page and if i click register it will take us to the register option so first of all in order to do the email verification we need to make some changes in the dot env file so we'll just go to our project directly dot env file and if we go down over here you can see mail mailer smtp and uh, some other thing over here written so mail mailer will be smtp and here you can see mail host will be smtp dot gmail dot com and after this we need to mention the mail port number the mail port number will be let's say four uh, four six five and here we need to give the mail username it means uh, your mail so we'll say over here uh, we'll use this mail yamin shakil 9 at the rate of gmail.com and over here you can see that uh, here mail password here we need to give our mail app password and i'll show you how you can get the mail app password and here you can see mail encryption mail encryption will be ssl then mail from address so mail from address will be this one yamin shakil 9 at the rate of gmail.com so we'll just paste it over here and here you can see app name so here you can write anything you want so we'll see over here e-commerce mail and here uh, right now we need to write the mail password so and this mail password will be mail app password and in order to get the app password we need to go to our mail here you can see that uh this is my mail here you can see yamin shakil 9 at the rate of gmail.com and here you can see manage your google account just click over here manage your google account and then uh it will take you over here then you will see a security option click on security then you will just go down and here you can see two step verification now in order to get the mail app password you need to have two step verification on my two step verification is off so i'll make it on so i'll just click over here then i'll click over here get started then here we need to give our mail password let i'll just give my mail password then it will take you over here to this space and uh, we can verify our mail using my device i'll just click continue and here it will show the uh, phone number uh, then i'll i would like to uh, prefer the text messages so i'll just click over here send and it, it will send a message to my phone number so we need to write it write that number over here and click next and then click turn on so here you can see two step verification is on and if you need to turn it off you can just click over here so right now we'll just go back uh, you just have to click over here this sign and it will take you over here and if you go down right now you will see something called uh, app password over here here you can see two step verification is on that's why you are able to see the app password so right now we'll create the app password so i'll just click over here app password then I need to give my password again then click next and you need to choose your app uh, you can actually choose anything it actually doesn't matter that much so I'll just click over here mail and for it uh, select device for it we'll choose custom okay not custom okay let's just choose let's say Windows computer okay select app mail then uh, generate and you will see the password over here like this so let me just copy it so we need to copy this and we will paste this password over here in this mail password so we are done with the configuration for the gmail in our dot env file so we can just close this one 
and you will receive a mail or uh, security alert app or something so don't worry it's nothing so right now uh, first of all we will directly go to our app then inside app we will go to models over here and inside model here you can see users dot user dot php will go over here and here you can see that class user extends authenticable and we we'll see over here implements then here you can see at the top must verify emails let me just copy it and i'll paste it over here so we need to make these changes in this user.php over here and after this we, we have to go to config then inside config you will see podify.php just go over here and just go down totally down and here you can see that feature email verification and it is by default is uh, comment out so we'll remove this double slash from here and we'll save it and once you do this you are your email verification is done uh, you can just normally register from here and it will send you a email verification email to a email address but the thing is uh, in our project uh, here uh, let me just uh, show you one thing in our project i uh, will go to route then web.php so here you can see that in the web.php we have this uh, this is created by default when you make login and registration authentication and here you can notice that slash dashboard and uh, in this project in our project if you go to our app then providers uh, inside providers here you can see route service providers and here uh, it was slash dashboard and we change it from slash dashboard to slash redirect so since we change this slash dashboard to slash redirect so we cannot use it but if you have uh, over here in the route service provider home equal to slash dashboard then then you don't have to do anything over here you can just uh, save it over here and you can just go to your registration form give your email name and everything click register and your email verification will be done but since we make changes over here in the router service provider we change over here slash register so we cannot use this so here you can see that for this slash redirect over here we write this route route get slash redirect here you can see so here we are going to give this arrow sign and we say here middle middle wire will give to first bracket to single quotation then here we'll say auth then we'll give comma and again to single quotation and we see over here very verified so here you can also see verified so basically we are doing the same thing over here as well uh, for this route we are verifying this auth so it will automatically send a mail uh, to check whether we are verified or not so right now let's save it and let's go to our project let's refresh and let's click register and let's give a name over here let's say here shakil let's give email we need to give a valid email because we need to check the email obviously so we we'll saw over here i mean shakil uh, 10 at the end of gmail.com let's give a random phone number random address okay then let's give a password over here as well confirm password then click register and here you can see it's reloading and for sending gmail it takes some time and here you can see that uh, thanks for signing up before getting started could you verify your email address by clicking on the link uh, we just emailed you if you don't receive the email we can gladly send you another so if you click over here recent verification email it will send you an another email so our gmail address or yamin shakil 10 at the end of gmail.com so let me just log in to the gmail here you can see i'm in shakil 10 at the end of gmail.com so here you can see that we receive a mail and here you can see that the mail subject is e-commerce and if i click over here we will see something like this and here if i click on it verify email address it will take me to my dashboard here you can see shakil and if i click on the profile uh, here you can see the email over here 
so and here you can see that uh, if you want to change this design you can do it as well uh, all you have to do is that you need to go to your uh, resource then views and inside views you can see auth and inside auth uh, you will see verify email dot play dot php if you click over here here you can see that same text uh, thanks for signing up before getting started uh, that we saw over here you can change the design if you want but we, i'll keep it like this so yeah this is and uh, okay let me show you one more thing and if i go to my database and if i refresh over here uh, here you can see that verify email at uh, it is showing me the like the time and the date over here that we had verified this email at this date and uh, since uh, those this email user admin i uh, mean this email are not verified so we will not be able to log in right now so right now uh, let me just log out from here and let's just try to log into the user address of gmail.com let's click login here we'll say user address of gmail.com and let's give the password and if i click login here you can see that thanks for signing up uh, signing up uh, before signing up please verify your email and uh, if i click recent verification email that doesn't matter because uh, uh, user at the rate of gmail.com this is not my gmail that's just a random gmail so uh, what we have to do is that we need to edit this email verified at part so we'll just click over here edit and here you can see email verified at here we need to pick up a date over here let's just pick up today's date you can pick up any date then uh, just go down and click go and here you can see so let's also do the uh, do it for the admin as well so let's click edit and let's go down and here you can see email verified add then i click over here uh, this kind of uh, like a calculator kind of thing then click on the date then go down and click go and here you can see this one is also verified so you can do it for rest of the data as well so this is how we can verify email in Laravel. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Um, and if you have any question or if you face any problem, you can let me know in the comment section. And uh, I also give my social uh, like Facebook account link in the description. If you face any critical problem, you can message me uh, in my Facebook. I will try to message you back as soon as possible. And if this tutorial was helpful to you, then I would like to really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned and stay healthy.